Hi guys, so yeah, today because you know Big Bang was such a thing like last week, it's the final uh, of the series. Um, maybe you know, like the producer, I'm not sure, yeah, I think he's a producer. So, Chuck Lore, he usually writes fun bits at the end of every episode. Just for one or two seconds, you can see something so. I just thought it was just funny <laughs> if I was just to, you know, read and comment about what he's usually writing about, if you're just curious. Um, and, you know, sometimes he just writes maybe sketches, maybe a, a, a joke or something. Uh, this one was right before the final one, so the last before the last one, basically. So, let me just make it like super funny um so he says like people prefer to be right right feels good it's empowering <laughs> wrong feels awful well tell me about it this is why we th this is by design evolution rewards being right and punishes being wrong yeah it's called abuse the foraging monobrows who look up from the berry bush and said that's a predator run away had a better chance on passing on their genes than the alley oops who said no it's just a big pussycat with an unfortunate overbite <laughs> oh my god they were more likely to become virgin tartar well i don't know i mean just depends on the cat i guess uh in other words wrong equals death if you are wrong enough you get accused excused from the planet well some people really push it i know that explains why the almost impossible it's almost impossible to change people's minds well you know if you're gonna go abusive on them maybe you can <laughs> who knows um in order to have a shift in perspective one must first admit to being wrong yeah i know so usually people want to know you and after a while they're like you know in this moment you're wrong so they kind of have this bounding moment with you basically we have something and you're supposed to forcefully admit you're wrong even though you feel like it's not wrong anything so any type of topic any type of opinion this is so wrong and you have to admit it like this is like a vow you have to say um i don't know how i feel about this because uh i, I kind of know where he's coming from but it just depends i mean uh you have to understand there are like two types of discussions i guess one goes for opinions and some go for information so most of the people talking on this planet have opinions but if you consider like old civilizations and that kind of stuff even in china so basically their way of speaking is different than you know european and other countries because they solely rely on information you know so in chinese or in that part of the countries in asia i think all of that influence if they say something it's an information basically um and everything sounds like an information so it's not like an opinion addressed but more like information for example um let me just say you know i have curly hair okay so this is an information and it's stated as an information so for them this is a discussion so if you talk to another person you're talking like oh you know I have curly hair. It's not like addressed as a compliment, but as an information. <laughs> See, so for them, informations are the leading thing into a discussion, and again, can be right or wrong. Versus to the most of our countries, and also in the U.S., it's about topics, including politics and so on. So everything is a topic about an opinion on who's right or wrong, and less about what the information is telling you. And if this information is right or wrong. So here are the two mentalities and you can split on <laughs> where you want to debate upon. Because I'm this person who tries to make conversations about information. 
Um, and that's why being right or wrong is just how good you know your information because I will never dress something that I really feel it's like not a thing, you know. Like if I say I'm a Mandarin, of course that's wrong because I know I'm not. Come on, I even you have the skin color for that. So if you say something and you know it's wrong and you still force it into other people's mouths, it doesn't mean you're right. It just means you're pushing it, you know, so, you know, this is just the first part of it, at least. Um, that's extremely hard to do, so, yeah, changing people's opinion. Um, history is filled with people who choose to cause unbelievable carnage rather than consider the possibility that they've misjudged a situation. I'm talking about you, Imperial Japan, Deutschland, the Uberalis, and the Confederate States of America. Well, I mean, he goes back into history for some reason. Which is why I fear for our future. Not, I, I'm not sure how you want to fear for a future if you refer on the past, but whatever. None of us are willing to be wrong. Yeah, I mean, there are a lot of generations even now. I think, in, so if I'm a millennial, think about the Gen Z's. You know, the more they grow up, the more they just want to throw a stone into you. I mean, <laughs> it's, it looks like this new, newborn uh, 90s generation, full of passive-aggressive aggression and that kind of stuff. Um, so they're full of that. Oh my god. <laughs> um, uh -huh. None, uh, none of us are willing to be wrong. The very idea of it is an unconceivable, uh, unless of course some enlightened soul came along and proposed an alternative to the polarity of right and wrong. I mean, again, I address like the possibility not to be right or wrong, but to make the discussion from opinion to information. I think you have less chances to be wrong like that because. <laughs> There are so many cultures and education systems that can prove an information is good or wrong and you have more than one reference to list something. Like UNICEF was, you know, um, I think 46, yeah. So if I say uh, UNICEF was founded in uh, 1950, that's wrong because it was founded in 46. So maybe the discussion about information rather than an option uh, a, a different option it's you know <laughs> i mean it's more about understanding that person as an information and after that you kind of make it a topic because if you just go based on opinions there are more than one time you can be wrong just because it's an opinion it's not really something solid you know <laughs> um mm -hmm. Perhaps the idea of neither, so neither wrong or right. Well, of course, everyone can be right in the end. I mean, there's so many people out there who, you know, if they are like me and we just want to make everyone happy, I'm pretty sure there can be a way just to address some discussions. Um, but if you think, I mean, I had like situations where I met this person to play, you know, board games and that kind of stuff. Just because, you know, people try to find a way to make it extra difficult to win <laughs> or everyone gets healed, you know. So if everyone, because I kind of, if I had the chance to have the lead on a board game, I kind of made everyone pass through the game uh, because, you know, I'm like this person. Not because I make it easy, but I made the rules so more than one person can pass. But... You know, the, the the reaction was from this, this 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 group I had. Yeah, you know, it's not okay. So basically, we have to make it harder. So basically, not even the crowd wants to win. You know, all of the time they want people to suffer, people to lose. You know, so this is like an inborn instinct to a lot of people. <laughs> so the idea where everyone is happy, it doesn't make a lot of people happy. You know, so. You can go and say democratization and that kind of stuff where everyone can be happy and the so on. No, they don't like it so much. They rather have at least one person suffer so they can remember it. 
a versus where everyone is happy so I don't know it's just I think there's just a different way of making people feel good I don't know if this is a good way to feel good I don't feel so good thinking someone would suffer but yeah I mean there's so many ways you know um the middle way leading to peace serenity and joy maybe if and if we were again to use the history as a guide we would most likely decide the enlightened one was wrong oh my god so he's citing the bible then we would kill him yeah then we would worship him then we would kill anyone who didn't agree that ours was the true faith which will allow us to be you know what righteous um so basically he's saying like uh i think i stated in some other topic people like to be on the winner side so basically they're gonna you know tilt <laughs> basically the boat based on how the wind is blowing so they always want to be on the opposite side and also win <laughs> uh I don't know where this is coming from so basically I think that I was thinking about like our generation and basically everyone wants to win and making an alliance with someone who's like you is not gonna be possible because people don't want to give you credit for anything so they rather have the credit and make people beg for it, their credit you know so you have this moment where there's someone superior and someone inferior already uh, if he wants to cite the Bible for whatever reason um, basically he's saying like if someone could make it happen he's gonna be trashed away because again people are fighting all of the time for their own opinion versus other people's opinion all of the time so if there's no more conflict it's like they don't have a sole purpose to exist anymore <laughs> and I truly agree to that because sometimes people just need a reason to argue I don't know why I mean uh, I think rumoring and you know arguing are the best you know conversation anyone can have sometimes I don't know why because if you do this apparently this is such a good moment for you um, but again uh, so Chuck Lorre he probably states the same thing that he's very unhappy with whatever he's saying because people are trying to correct him all the time and yeah i mean if you are a sole creator or whatever working in an industry as a creator people are gonna force their opinion on you um or i mean i had i'm not sure if he has experiences like that i met people imitating life like the way i'm living or have been living it um so they were like like how I was um, maybe in France or in the US so they said yeah you know I I was I, I how do you say it so I was in France I'm I'm gonna go to Asia because apparently I was not in Asia and this is the spot I'm gonna hit you on the, the conversation was basically about my life my expectations and how this person can make it sound like it's my life only that person's gonna make it better in their own way you know fun fact those people were just impersonating a fake reality so basically they were saying bad stuff about Asia and that kind of stuff so I said you know I mean even if someone is gonna say you should go to Asia for work or something that's great but if you don't know the culture I mean you know what what's the point um i mean it's uh, up to everyone where they want to go <laughs> they said yeah you know if i'm gonna go to you it's so easy to go to us after that like they make it sound like life is so easy no it's not that easy i mean trust me just because i was in the us a lot of people didn't believe me at first that i was in the us because apparently this is you know not possible for some reason i don't know i'm just saying 
and they just rumored me in so many ways you have no idea just because they want to feel right that i was never in the us and if i was in the us there has to be a possibility where i didn't do the right thing so basically i was wrong <laughs> so again i know where uh, lore is coming from because a lot of people are going to correct you on what was your purpose and what was your mission even though you stated it because i'm gonna go to us like i was for fashion week i said it before i, ca I came back and i said that no it was not clear even though i said it i mean like how clear do i want to say it to you i mean i even took pictures of the fashion show how clear do i want me to say it i mean there's nothing more to say to about it and even facebook didn't believe me and they started to delete posts it's like well, okay <laughs> even they don't believe me so being righteous it's such a thing you have no idea so when i read his post i was like yeah <laughs> I'm not sure this year is more about passive aggressive than the last year. Maybe I'm feeling different than last year, but I feel like this wave is stronger versus how the last year it was. I'm comparing maybe to 2015 or 16. Now it's all about of smashing and being passive aggressive and, you know, basically a 90s vibe, you know, basically being aggressive for nothing. So just blowing anything you know and like him i'm concerned you know because if you want to be like that you're gonna hit a lot of people for nothing i mean just gonna be brutal and aggressive for no reason i mean wh where's the limit in that if you want to be this person or this authority who's just smashing people for no reason i mean there's no limit for that because of course there are some rules and some regulation where you have to follow them but nowadays people just, you know, make it like a snake moment <coughs> and going through blind spots, basically. So apparently it's not obvious. It's not obvious, Facebook, that uh, you, de you delete those posts. No, no. Especially if they don't appear in my timeline anymore, you know. Yeah, it's not obvious that you deleted them. Um, so, again, if, again, they go through your timeline and they start to harass previous partners or previous jobs no that's not aggressive facebook no no that's not aggressive it's just you go to someone's history and you basically abuse those people to make you feel good and other people bad well well that's a way to be righteous i can see that um so it's not a mistake i got uh, specific emails or phone calls for those people just around the time where you feel like it's a good time to smash a button you know <clears throat> yeah it's a good coincidence you know uh anyways so that was basically my take on chakra's topic um i'm not sure how you want to address this but but being right or wrong is not really so important versus what you want to achieve in life if you decide to be this bad person all the time you're gonna be this bad person all the time it doesn't matter if you're right or wrong I know I'm right about that. <laughs> it's just how you feel about something. That's more important versus if you're right or wrong. And if you're right or wrong, how is this fortunate for you? Because, you know, if you work in a field like, for example, in medicine, you know, and you cut people, well, you have to be right about some stuff because if you mess it up, that person's gonna die. So there being right or wrong is actually important, you know? Again, information. Information is more important versus opinions, you know? So, uh, it just depends on the topic. So if you just lower the bar with, you know, self-worth, I guess, and be more selfless, I think that's better for everyone including yourself because if you push the bar too much on yourself and less on what is worth for other people there's going to be a lot of damage i mean i told you from my side <coughs> there was a lot of damage even though i didn't push it like uh so much in other people's faces i mean seriously i was just being normal about it but again you never know how people are going to react that's for sure i mean i think Chakra also kind of pointed this out because he can also cannot control everyone who's talking about right or wrong. I do agree with him. You cannot control those people. <coughs> <coughs> I 
especially if it comes from topics like opinions, because opinions can be A, a to Z of a thing. Um, informations, they're not A to Z, usually they're just one, you know. Uh, you cannot have different opinion about how to cut the stomach, for example. I mean, you can have different techniques, but these are not opinions, you know. You cannot use different knives. Usually there's a one special tool for cutting people, you know. There are not five different colors for that knife, you know. Uh, so people who usually tend to have opinions, I think they come from a field where you have those options, not like medicine, because in medicine you don't have... Uh, you know, emojis on your, you know, on your, <laughs> uh, you know, on your stuff that you cut people open with, or you take selfies, like, uh, with those uh, people who you're cutting. I mean, I don't think this is happening so much versus what you do. You have to actually be focused on a lot of stuff. And I don't think they're listening to Spotify while they're doing this, <laughs> to be honest. So, again, I think there's some sort of flexible things that can happen with information, I get it, <coughs> but if for what is worth if it's just about opinion, you have to make yourself aware about this and treat it like an opinion and not like something where you have to, you know, make it more than it actually is. Well, that's just my take on it. Um, thanks and talk to you soon. Bye.